Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with Fishing Planet, and we are back here at Kaji no Ri. Yeah, we're just getting close to having the end of our little subscription to, for this particular location. We're going to eventually have to go back to the old maps, but trying to finish out a few things if I can. Still not able to get the unique ruby snapper or the unique green job fish. Been trying, not having much luck with that. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, yes, I do sound a little hoarse. I do apologize for that, too. Having a little bit of trouble with my, th my throat today, so if I sound a little low, then I am. But anyway, basically, guys, we are going to be doing some more trolling today. And in the last episode, we were trolling at what I call the Northern Tuna Highway. Now, this is the south or southeast north southeast tuna highway that i've i've found it be a really good location for getting plenty of striped marlin plenty of tuna of all species and we're going to see what we can catch here today now in the last episode we managed to catch you two uniques during that willow run and i don't know if we'll get as lucky this time but we'll see what we can pull off here let me go ahead and move here we're going to use actually the same gear i was using last time I'm using this trophy trolling octopus and the trophy squid chain. This is extremely good for bringing in the big guys. Anything with these trophy ones do really well. Yeah, in the last episode when those sailboats hit me, they didn't hit me. They just sailed right through me. That was kind of weird. But we're going to go ahead and throw this out and see what, if anything, we can get. Let me go ahead and put that down. And let me get the other one out here. Now I've got a bucktail on this one. Just going to see if we can't get anything off of this too. Probably won't get as big as stuff, but actually that's not a big deal, honestly. Oops. Yeah, I can't cast this one out very far because it's so light. So we're just going to get it out as far as we can. And let it out a little bit more just to make sure that we've got it out far enough for the fish to be interested. About 80 feet probably will do it. Then we'll go up here and we'll start heading to the north. And if we look at the map here. Yeah, basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going past this navigation buoy and we're just going to be going north right along that ridge. We should be able to get some things pulling that off. I don't see any birds at the moment. That shouldn't make any difference. I am seeing plenty of fish in the vicinity. No surface fish, so that's kind of interesting. Not sure what kind of bottom fish are down there, but... We're not focusing on them at the moment. That's 600 feet down, so that would take a while, honestly. So let's go ahead and rev this up. Get this moving and see what we can get here. It looks like there's quite a few of them down there deep. It's probably tuna, honestly. But if we don't get anything right off the bat, we'll advance time because we're not in a peak time. We're actually on the downswing. So. Looks like we're heading a little bit south, actually. We need to head this direction.
And it looks like we're a lot closer to shore than we are. We're actually out quite a ways. So that's a little misleading. So we're heading pretty much towards those sailboats. But like I said, we'll keep at it. The only thing I see are deep, deep fish right now. So we're not going to get those guys. But usually on the downswing of the peak, a lot of the times the tuna go deeper. So that might be where they are. Which means they may come up to the surface later as time progresses. I don't know that we can actually fast forward time while the boat's moving. We have may have to stop. Let me see what the time is here. Yeah, see, we're on the downswing. Now if we go to 5 p.m. Ah, we can do it. Okay, wasn't sure. That's something I just learned. I can forward time while the boat is moving. That's cool. Ah, now we're seeing birds, so that is a good sign. Let's head over towards the birds more, see if we can't get something to bite on one of our lures here. I don't know if we got anything jumping, I don't see anything. Not a whole lot of birds. but enough to make it worth looking into. Yep, they're diving. Yeah, it doesn't look like the sonar is showing anything either. But I am hearing stuff. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. Let's take it down. And which one is it? Is number two. Off a of bucktail. Let's see if we got us something like a striped bonito or a mai mai. Yep, striped bonito. Not bad. We are in the midst of the birds. That's good. Let's get going again. Ah, shoot. All right, we're going to head right along that ridge. I think I might have another bite. Hold on. Yeah, I do. This time it's off of this one. And whatever it is, it's good size. I'm going to have to put it down just temporarily until I can get this to slow down here. Let's see here. Alright, let's go back down. Kind of curious to see what this is about. Yeah, I didn't see anything on the sonar, so this could be just about anything. I think we got one on the other one, too, guys. Alright, this one's going to give us a bit of a fight. Oh, wow. Definitely decent sized fish alright we're gonna gain on him here 
He's swimming under the boat. Wow, look at him go. Look at him go. Holy crap. What is he doing? Holy. Okay, this is not a small little f small fish, that's for darn sure. Probably, well, it's a good chance he's a marlin. Dogtooth tuna fight pretty hard too, though. I don't know. I'm still leaning towards the marlin here. This is where I've caught the unique marlin and more than once, honestly. And this is just a great location for them. And they're notorious for jumping up like that and running off with it. So... Oh, wow. He's going to take it out even further. Well, we may be fighting this guy for a minute, guys. I don't know. Alright, guys. We're getting a little bit close. It doesn't necessarily mean anything, because he's... He'd just taken it way out again earlier. But every now and then, you get the better... The upper hand on him, and you get him in close kind of quickly. Just see what happens here. But we got him. We actually got him. That's good. And it is a striped marlin. I told you. I told you. 176.2 pounds. 36212 cash. 9051 XP. But we are going to keep him. And we're going to throw this out again. Like I said, this is a marlin haven. We're going to go back out here. Yeah, just because they're not showing up on sonar doesn't mean a darn thing. You got to go to the spots. You hit them and hit them hard. Now we're going to go along the ridge line this time because we've passed the birds, but I'm going to keep going north. Let's see if we can't get something else. Maybe another good sized striped marlin. Did we already get another bite? I think we did. Holy crap. Oh, nope. He got off. He got off. Never mind. That's alright. We'll take it back up to 4% again. Keep going at it. We just gotta keep following that ridge. Now where they're real close, that's what I'm trying to mainly focus on, is that area there. And it's a good wide area. I mean, it goes all the way up to there. Where you see all those, like, squiggles. That's pretty much where you want to stop and turn around. Still nothing. Everything seems to be deep so far all right guys we are getting a bite hopefully we can slow this down get down there it's on this bucktail so it won't be that big and it's not this is probably another striped bonito let me see here yep trophy striped bonito it's not too bad yeah, let's let's change this lure because something a little bit bigger. Yeah, we're bringing in some small fry here. We want to get something that's going to get us some cash here, if and we all can. So what we do is we drop that off. I'm going to grab this squid chain. I think I'm going to go with a smaller one this time. Last time I had eight pieces. This time I'm going to go with six. I'm going to try a smaller lure too. I'm trying to get smaller species off of this. 
might go with a small... Wait a minute, hold on. Let me see if I can't find a plug. A smaller plug. Yeah, there we go. Let's see what that does. I haven't tried the small plugs really that much. Right there, I thought I had something on there. Let's see what we got here, guys. Let's see what we got going on. Ah, and look. We definitely have fish here. So, that is a good sign. They're all surface. Definitely tuna. With the smaller lures, we probably would get them. These are not monster. These are probably either albacore, or skipjack, or something like that. A lot of birds here, and like that last one. Yeah, if I see stripes, I think they're albacore, honestly. I can't tell. I haven't been able to see their pectoral fins. Well, maybe not. They might actually be skipjack. Wait a minute, is there something on that one? Yep, there is. And it's a little bit on the big side, so we're going to have to go back up here and slow things down a little bit here. Sometimes you can reel it in while the boat's moving, but if they're really big, you're really going to be fighting too much. You're fighting the boat and the fish, so that's sometimes just too much. Now, if you get like smaller tuna, like the albacore, the skipjack, you can reel them in. I probably could have reeled it in had it let him tire himself out because he's coming in fairly easy. Like I said, it's probably either albacore. No! A unique skipjack tuna. We got us another unique, guys, and it's a new personal record. How about that? How about that? There you go. I had trouble getting them at first. This is where I got the skipjack tuna, the unique, last time, too. It's exactly where I got it. Actually, I might go ahead and mark that. Let me go ahead and we'll take a look at this fella. Now, like I said, it was a smaller one, as that much I could tell. But you can see, they do not have the huge pectoral fins of the albacore. The one thing that I was trying to see but couldn't is they have a striped underbelly, as you can see right there interesting looking fish we're gonna get a picture of him maybe <laughs> there it goes okay didn't take all right we'll keep him and we're gonna go to the map we're gonna mark that because I don't have a marker here that way we know and last time I got, let's see, that's the navigation buoy. On the same path, I got a unique striped marlin. I thought it was the unique skipjack that I got here too. I guess not. Either that or didn't mark it. I'm pretty sure that's where I got it, honestly. I probably just didn't mark it. Well, at least I did that time. But yeah, this is a good spot, and there's a lot going on here so we might as well just keep going at it because they are active right now wouldn't be a bad idea to get a few of them let's see you can already tell it's not a huge field of them but we can turn this thing around and make another pass I'm gonna check out ahead just to make sure there aren't any more birds Ah, there's some right over there. So that is... Might be another spot we can check out. And we'll just... Keep hitting the bird patches, I guess. <laughs> yeah, let's hit right towards them. 
And we could still pick up another skipjack too, guys. That's kind of what I'm hoping is going to happen before we just head completely out of the area. They're still here, and they're still in the same field there. Okay. This time if something grabs it, I'm going to grab it as quickly as I can. Yep, something's going to go for it. Look, look, there it goes. You see that sweat? Well, he had it. Shoot. Dang on it. Should have reacted. There we go. We got him that time. Bugger. I wish I could just, like, set the hook, you know? Okay, we're going to... I'm going to try to see how far I can reel him in this way. And we might be fighting the boat too much. I just really hate to let it down. Nope, he's going to be a little bit too strong, I'm afraid. Well, maybe. He's coming. Little bits at a time. Well, I don't want to get in that other field. I'm going to have to put it down. i got to take a risk. Let me go ahead and try to slow this thing down a little bit. Then go back. Hopefully I didn't lose him. Okay, I got him. He's there. Alright. Yeah, those trophy trolling octopi and the trophy squid chains. See how much easier it is to get him in now? I think I got that through the maintenance missions. But I think we got us another skipjack there, guys. Yep, the trophy one this time. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah, I'm fine with catching the smaller guys. They still bring in quite a bit of cash. Not too small. But a little smaller. Okay, we're back to heading towards the birds. I'm just going to scan around just to see if I see anything else. Other than the cruise liner. That's the only field of birds I see, so... That's where we're going. But yeah... Well, okay. We got one. Okay, he isn't big. This is probably a troll, like a Benito or something. He's coming in way too easy. Let's see what we got here. Oh, it's a little skipjack. Just regular size. Okay. Oh, these are the rambunctious little guys, aren't they? Throw that back out there. I was kind of surprised by that one, honestly. I thought, wait a minute, do we actually have another bite? Okay. Let's get more towards the middle. I can't see if... I don't see any fish jumping, but that doesn't mean they're not there, obviously. Alright, we're going to keep an eye on this because obviously they're around, and it doesn't necessarily mean they're not there just because it doesn't show up on the sonar. And there we go. There's another one. Probably another skipjack. They are really going for that trophy trolling octopi. Octopus octopi. Actually, it'd be an octopus because it's singular, but. Another skipjack. Regular size. 25 pounds. No monsters there. So far, they're not going for the plugs, but maybe the skipjack don't. I don't remember, honestly. I think I did catch one. Okay, we are definitely in a field of fish, as you can see. So, anything can happen now. Either I've got a bite, or they're... Yeah, I've got a bite. Alright, let's take it down. 
First one again, troll an octopus. Okay, this is a little bigger. Not much bigger, but a little bit bigger. And we got one on the other one too. Shoot. Come on, I need to get him in. Let's see what we got here. Another skipjack. And let's see if we can't grab... Nope. He got off. Well, heck. Let's throw that one back out. So lots of skipjack tuna right here, guys. This is definitely the skipjack area. So if you're looking for them, this is a good place to come. Let's see. That's what it looks like to jump in here, too, guys. Yep. Doesn't mean there aren't some striped marlin in there. Or some big eyes. These are not Pacific blue fins. These are not yellow fins. Those are more to the south and the north. There's plenty of them here. This is a big, big area. You're seeing lots of fish here. Okay, there we go. Let's take it down. This time it's the second rod. And the first rod. Okay. I'm good with that. Now this is off the plug. So we're going to see if we get the skipjack with that. Because I really don't know if they go for them. I figured they would, even if they're smaller. I'm going to lose that one, unfortunately, I'm afraid. Let's see what we got here. Skipjack tuna. They do go for it. That got it. I lost the other one. Well, shoot. <laughs> but we know that they go for the small plugs. Perfect. Perfection. Perfect. Good. I hate when I get one on both lines and I lose one. It just drives me nuts. But yeah, this is really good spot guys if you're having trouble finding the unique skipjack this is where you need to come just troll along here and you should get your unique eventually and look 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 there's more birds down that way so we can go even further north we got one on this one ah well he got off Let's just give it a minute here. Yep, he got off. Thank God. It. Well, we're headed towards the other field. So... We might still get something. Let's just keep an eye on these. If it bobs down, we got to grab it immediately because that's how you get them. Time change. That was abrupt. <laughs> Alright, let's see here. Okay, I can still see the birds. Yeah, I wanted to check that because if sometimes the time changes, the birds will disappear. We have nothing on the sonar anymore. So they are right in front of that cruise liner. And it looks like another boat, kind of like the one I have other than this one. The Scutum, I think it's called. Scutum, Scutum. Not sure how to pronounce that. Don't even know the name of my own boat. Isn't that terrible? Okay, let's see. Let's go down here, because I have a feeling we're going to get a bite here soon. Alright guys, there is still nothing on the sonar, but we are going right into those birds. So, if 
there's anything there, they usually don't steer you wrong, that's for sure. So far, no takers. I go a little bit more to the left. I want to make sure I go right down the center of the, the group. Nothing's jumping, just birds. Ah, here we go. They're starting to show up now. Oh, wow. Looks like there's quite a bit of... Holy crap, this might be like a little collection of species right here. Hmm. Huh. It's interesting. I think we got... Yeah, we got fish jumping. We got fish jumping now. Little ones. So they're definitely there. Can't tell what they are. Probably skipjacks. Still no takers. That's kind of interesting. No, this is the Therese... Therese Tudo? Something like that. Alright, let's see if we can't see what they are. I can't tell. They're not really jumping that high. They're just splashing a lot. I can't believe none of them are taking anything. Let's see. Okay, I think we got skipjacks here. No takers. Yep, they're skipjack. Look at their... Pectoral fins are too small to be albacore. Are we really not going to get any takers? Wow. Okay. That never happens. We might have to swing around and make another pass. Let's take a look at the sonar. Something. That's really strange. Usually they do really well. Yeah, we're getting out of the field there. And I'm not seeing any more birds off in the distance. So I think we probably ought to just turn around at this point. Yep. Let's do that. And we'll head back. It takes a little while to make that trip, especially at that speed, but it's definitely worth it. And there is a few dead areas, but where there aren't, you are going to get quite a few takers. Now let me see. That, that looks like I got something. No, but I do have something on this one. Yep. We got one. Didn't get him on the first pass, but we definitely got one on the second. Let's see if we got us another. Skipjack. Yep. And we're back through the birds again. And that big conglomeration of species. Look at all that. Kind of makes you wonder what's down there, you know? <laughs> but I tell you, I think it's pretty deep there. No, it's not too bad. It was just deep enough. I think we have. A, I think we have something on number one here. 
Yep, we do. Okay, this one may be a little bit bigger. Let's see what we got here. Nope, he's coming in. Probably another skipjack. Oh, and we got one on there. If we can just get this one in quick enough. Yep, and there it's grab number two. Quickly grab number two. Grab number two. Grab number two. Okay, there we go. All right. Can't tell how big this guy is, but he is slowly coming in, which means he might be a skipjack, just a bigger one. Okay, he's taking it out a little further, so we're going to need to... Shoot, I hate having to do this. Alright. It could be a striped marlin for all we know. This may be something completely off the wall. I've been surprised plenty of times thinking, Oh yeah, I've got myself a striped marlin. Nope. <laughs> Get a big eye or a dog tooth tuna or something like that. But he's given a good fight, so whatever he is, he's not too small. Okay, he's coming in now. And let's see here. Come on, big guy. Give it up. Give it up. What do we got here? Still don't know. Alright, come on. There you go. Alright. I dog to tuna. And he's a decent size one too. 12762 cash. Not bad. XP, 93 pounder. Judging from the way he's fighting, not a surprise about that. Alright, we'll keep him. I'll tell you what, guys, that's not too bad. We did some. We did get us a unique. Got a lot of skipjack, but definitely, as you can tell, this is a great spot right here. Let me give you the coordinates here so that you can find it. Let's see, the navigation buoy, that's at 4336.14, negative 9926.39. And this marker where I caught the unique skipjack tuna, that is at 388, I'm sorry, 3811.46. 1004.48 By the way, if you want to try to find it yourself Use those numbers, mark it Go out there and try a little bit of Trolling Especially if you need to get that unique skipjack This is a good place to find them, that's for sure but Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe And I will be back with another episode of Fishing Planet Hopefully by that time, the Halloween event will be taking place. I have been told by some of my viewers that this one's going to be all new. And I hope that's the case, because normally I can't do a whole lot since I completed it a couple of years ago. And I really want to do something new. I really, really do. But anyway, guys, we'll see what happens. But anyway, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I will see you later. Bye-bye.